So I know I'm on a 10 minute time limit, Jocelyn, you went over. I wasn't clocking, but you were definitely over. Um, first, I just want to thank the organizers and the committee in USA Hockey for putting on this amazing event tonight. Um, it's been, I drove down here in the car yesterday in my van with my three little kids um, yesterday with the, with the snow, so it was, no one was screaming for an extended period of time, so they all got an A-plus um, for the drive anyways. Um, I just want to say congrats to the other recipients, um, Ryan and Steve. Um, you might not know, Goalie Nation holds a special place in Joss and I's heart with our oldest brother being a goalie, our dad being a goalie. So um, Nicole and Rooney, you guys are here today. So I just want to give a shout out to you because we, we love our goalies. Um, and then a quick little story, Ryan, at the, the gold medal game in Vancouver. I know it didn't end the way you wanted it to, but I, I actually forgot my phone up in the the third level and I had to run back in and get it and I was on my way back to get ready for closing ceremonies. I slipped and fell in some mud and I sprained my ankle and had to wear a boot to closing ceremonies. So everybody thought I was playing hurt and really I was just trying to hurry back from the from the game and I fell and got my worst injury in some mud and was walking back crying because <laughs> it hurt so bad. Um, but mom and dad, um, I have three kids now and I'm still trying to figure out how irresponsible it is to have six kids in five and a half years. Um, that line never gets old. Um, I met one of my dad's old teammates a couple weeks ago and he was like, dad's not an intense guy at all with pure sarcasm. I was like, you think? And a, a quick story, we were, um, it was after the Olympics, we were talking with one of our old Bantam coaches and he was telling us how our dad almost got into like a little scuffle in beer league in the handshake line. And I was like, oh geez, what do you do this time? And I was like, well, was it in like November, or December? And he was like, yeah, it was right before you guys were going to the Olympics. And I was like, it was a stressful time. Like he just probably was a lot on his mind. He was hoping we were gonna make the team. And <laughs> so cut him a break for that one. Um, and as Jocelyn mentioned, our mom, she ran marathons. She ran 25 marathons, just to clarify that. Um, after having six kids and having three of my own now, I kind of understand why you ran so much, because you're probably just trying to keep your sanity um, <laughs> with all the kids. But in all seriousness, though, Joss and I saw the work you put in day in and day out, waking up at 5 a.m. to go run 10 miles. And some days, Joss and I would bike with her when it wasn't at 5 a.m. And she'd be running too far, so we'd turn around and bike home because it was 10 miles was way too far for us um, being um, young kids. And then our four brothers, um, Phil, who's a goalie, he's still playing in Austria. I think he's going on his like 15th season playing there. He's 38 now and has outlasted all of us. But his attention to detail, um, to always get better mentally or physically every day was something that I think really um, rubbed up on, rubbed off on us, and something all all six, five of us took note when he was playing at a young age. Our brother Jock, who's who's in Saudi Arabia right now on deployment, um, I would say he his skill, um, his ability to find the back of the net um, was something that I think Joss and I took from him. And Pierre Paul, your tenacity and your grit, and then Mario, your your leadership and your work around the net. Joss and I always say that we took the best parts of you and put it into us. And so I guess if you combine that, that makes us better than you guys. <laughs> but then to bring that full circle, Jocelyn actually played goalie up until our Bantam year. So she was a, a goalie through Pee Wees and never practiced. Um, out. She was always practicing as a goalie. So I guess if you add that skill set to her, uh, to her plethora of skills, I guess that would technically make her a little bit better than me, but, so I'm gonna quote Coach Stafford here from an article the other day I was reading and he said, I think a lot of the times Monique got roped into the melees and scrums that Jocelyn started. <laughs> and I showed it to Peter just a few minutes ago and he goes, that is so true. <laughs> so I would say that's probably a knock, so I guess that puts us at a tie still. Um, but in all seriousness, I would not be here without you. And so I'm just going to leave it at that and 
not shed any tears yet anyways. Um, but I just wanted to take a minute and thank the people that have been a part of our journey, um, a coach, a trainer, a staff member, a teammate. If you have been one of those of our starter career, can you just take a, a second to stand up, even if you're really embarrassed too. I know there's a group of teammates back there. Jocelyn, you stand up. Peter, coach, stand up. <laughs> you can sit, there you go. Um, my success doesn't come without the time and effort that we had and put together as teammates, chasing dreams and hoping to achieve our goals. And um, our our last year uh, playing in 20, I think it was 2020, I lose track of the, of the years now, we played in Anaheim uh, in front of, I think, just under 12,000 people, but the team just broke the attendance record and played under just under 15,000 people a few weeks ago, so congrats, ladies. Um, in that time, our, our grandmother had passed away and we uh, flew in for the funeral and flew back, and I think it was a pivotal shift in, in mine and Jocelyn's mindset of where we wanted to, to spend our time, and I, I think the greatest gift you can give to anybody is your, your time and your effort and your presence, and I want to thank anybody that has been a part of my journey, whether it's been big or small, because your time is precious, and without that, I am not standing here today. Yes, the medals and everything are great, but ultimately, I'm, we've only been retired for a couple years now, but you miss the time in the locker room. You miss um, doing puzzles, which if anybody, when we would go on trips, um, Reagan would get like these 1500 piece puzzles and I, I was considered like a sorter if I ever attempted to do anything. So I'd sort like colors and find border pieces and that was like the extent of my, my contribution. But my, my almost four year old can do a 100 piece puzzle, so if you need help, he's your guy. Um, so in closing, I just want to say um, congratulations again um, to all the recipients tonight. Um, I think I might be the unsung here because I'm going to come in under my 10 minutes. Um, but congratulations. Thank you to everybody who's been a part of putting tonight together, what's the, whether it's the video packages or getting dinner out to everybody. Um, it takes a lot to put on a night like this. So thank you. And who's next? <laughs>